We're continuing our coverage. While it was not the outcome the Vols were looking for, fans showed up and showed out to cheer on the orange and white today. Schultz Brow and Yeehaw Brewing were buzzing today with cheers of Go Vols and, of course, lots of Rocky Top. 10 News reporter Olivia Dake joins us now in the studio with the fan reactions of the day. Olivia. And Shay, since this the last time Tennessee made it to the Elite Eight, 14 years ago, so it wasn't super shocking to see a sea of orange and several people at bars in the Happy Holler District today cheering on the Vols. Emotions ran high today in Knoxville in two bars right down the street from each other. There was a sea of orange and white on Easter. Vol fans of all ages came out Sunday to cheer on their Elite Eight team. Students I talked to said this is the most exciting year yet. Um, the games have been awesome to go to this year uh, with DK spreading the floor. We haven't seen that in a long time. Oh, it's uh, so exciting. It's electric, yeah. yeah. But despite today's neck and neck game, things were a little tense for one Knoxvillian. So far, everyone's been pretty nice. Um, trying uh, not to rile up too many people. I'm trying to keep my clapping to a minimum, yelling to a minimum. Amid an orange crowd, Jake Bosler is outnumbered. So my girlfriend, she's a Tennessee fan. Um, one of us is going to go home happy. One of us will probably be a little upset. With an eight-point win, Purdue ends the Vols streak and sends the Boilermakers on to the Final Four. For these Vol fans, it's about the journey. We've come far. We've gone to every home game. The vibes are always great. The vibes are good when we're not even home. Well, the whole town, the whole campus, everywhere you go, people are just all Tennessee all the time. Men's hoops made it farther than they have since 2010, and fans think that's something to celebrate. And for our friend wearing the Purdue, uh, all of the gear today, we'll wish him luck. He might be in the doghouse tonight with his girlfriend, but it's all going to be fine. All right. Thanks, Olivia.